right, Shalom Israel, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I have to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, my Shagum, like it was shy. It is to say, Yahweh, being named Heavenly Father, who the world will call God. And Yahweh Shai, being named his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. This is Brother Kasadi from WFI Jersey, Philly. And, um, oh man, it's, 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 been a, it's been a morning so far. But, um, all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, my Shagum, like it was shy. I'm not going to be able to pull, you know, a plethora of precepts. Um, but, um, as you can see, I'm driving right now, but most I willing when I do pull over, I can get some precepts going. But uh, I'll try to I try to quote as much as I can through the spirit. Um, but nevertheless, this is a WFI in transit video, and and this is just a, 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 a exhortation and an encouragement that in these last days, as we see all these things happen in the earth, and us being um, or supposed to be diligent lord willing brothers are making sure that you you know you you're being patient in this tribulation man the lord is having a, having a lot of prophecies come to pass um bringing bringing together a lot of the kings of the earth for world war three he's bringing different um doctrines and policies to america to bring forth jacob's trouble and a persecution and a martyrdom of the church and at home, we, we may be going through financial trouble. You may be going through marriage, uh, uh, marital issues. You may be going through problems with your job and your workplace. You may be, um, things may be going on in your life, right? But um, what did the Lord say? The Lord says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all things shall be added unto you. And that's the book of St. Luke chapter 12 verse 32. So if you're seeking first the kingdom, then all of these other things is not really pertaining to you, right? Your job, that don't matter. If you're seeking the kingdom, you're worrying about the Lord. The Lord going to provide for his servants. Has he always? Then he feed Elijah when he was in famine, right? When you read the book of 1 Kings, the 19th chapter. Then he feed Daniel when Daniel was in the lion's den. And he grabbed up Habakkuk, who never known the country of Babylon, but took an angel, and that angel pretty much grabbed up a becket by the hairs of his head and carried him over to Babylon to feed Daniel. How can we forget these times? The Lord said that this, uh, uh, the things that are written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through knowledge, paraphrasing, might have hope. Now, I'm strongly paraphrasing with that, but that's the book of Romans chapter 15 verse 4. So these things are written aforetime for us so that these accounts we go over and we meditate there on. Slack. So hope I wasn't. Hold on. Barrel me one quick second. Slack. So that was Satan. But nevertheless, we back in this thing. So we know that these things were happening so that we can um, have patience. Like I was mentioning. We have patience and we have hope in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. That we don't get frightened. That we don't get nervous. That we don't get rattled. Does the Lord ever get rattled and nervous? When you read the book of, uh, actually, I might pull it. I know I'm driving, but I may get it right. Just so, just so Israel is um is fed with the knowledge of the Most High, right? So I may get it real quick. It's a short account I want to get, and I'm driving. I'm on my way right now, but um, it is what it is. Right? This is the book of Psalm. And I don't encourage you to do this. But nevertheless, this is the book of Psalm, chapter 121 and verse 1. It's, it says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. So we got to look to the hills. We got to look towards the Most High. The Most High is our help. He's not going to cause us to be uh, in fear. He's not going to cause us to be shaking in the boots. The Lord, if we trust in the Lord, the Most High is always on fire, always ten toes down, never sleeping, never slumbering, and always being gracious and mercy to the nation of Israel. Then the Most High is also, obviously, as we know, he's a man of war. He's a judge. So when you continue to not look towards the Lord and you start to look towards other things and make other things your God, yeah, the Most High is going to get up with you. What do you expect? 
the most High is calling us to come back home and serve him he's not calling us to serve Allah or Buddhism or now you a five percenter now you got that red hat with the damn uh, with the um with the strings attached to it and you call yourself a Moor talking about a Moorish American the Lord not getting down with that the Lord's not getting down with you getting down with Santeria the Lord's not getting down with you getting down with voodoo trying to put a, a curse on somebody the Lord's not getting down right with you damn being in this world and you celebrating this wicked ass pride month and you got family members that's getting down like that and you like well I'm just supporting them no we're not supporting them we're supposed to be in support of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua whatever the Most High wants to do and hey, we down with it if the Lord want to take everything away from you it is what it is if the Most High wants to give you an increase, then guess what? That increase goes back to the Most High. So reading on. Now, again, these precepts are to encourage you because your mind not, might not always be like that. But that's when you're going off. You got to check yourself. You got to examine yourself and see where you went off at. Because, you know, every time you hop in a car and you put the key in the ignition and you put your seatbelt on and you throw a prayer up and you and you you might uh, uh, put some music on, you might put some smooth jazz, John Coltrane or Miles Davis. You might put on some um, some old uh, classical music, Frankie Beverly. You might you might put on some, you know, do something. You might have put on some troop music, right? Listen to uh, Hezekiah or um, uh, Anaviel the Servant, right? Or uh, 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 the brother Steph from from WFI Philadelphia, right? Check out his music as well. Or the brother Kanaz, right? Collect Israel on YouTube. Nevertheless. Right, nevertheless, not to take away from the word, but you may you may hop in a car, put the key in ignition, do what you gotta do, and um you may put on a, the GPS. Now the GPS, sometimes the GPS goes off. You're supposed to probably make a right turn and you stay you stay straight. You might have thought you didn't need the GPS and you were supposed to make a, a, a go straight and you made it right. So my point is sometimes you go off the course, sometimes you go off the path, sometimes you, you mess up all right we're in this flesh but when you do get your mind back right you want to strengthen your brothers you want to strengthen israel and you want to stay rooted and grounded and make sure you're strengthening yourself as well all right so i'm gonna read this again this is psalm 121 and verse number one i will look up mine eyes um unto the hills from whence come of my help right it's like it. At a stoplight. Verse 2. My help coming from Yahweh, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. So the most high won't slumber nor sleep. The Lord is always, if you're serving the Lord, He's gonna He's gonna take care of you. That's what He does. He's our husband, is He not? So given that the most high is our husband. And given that the Most High said He would take care of us, then why then a little tribulation come your way and you you going to hell off? And you can't take it. It's getting too hot in the kitchen, and now you don't you forgot how to cook. You forgot the damn recipe. You cutting the onions and the and your tears your eyes is watering, and you cooling off your cheeks. You're like, oh man, I, this I, I didn't expect this. I mean, you knew before you cut the onion, you was going to cry by cutting the onion. I mean, that's what it is. It, it has a natural gas and odor that will get to your eyes and cause it to do that. You knew when you turned that oven on at 425 degrees, it was bound to be hot in the house. You knew when you decided to make that damn lamb on the stove, that it was going to be some smoke and you was going to have to turn a fan on to open up the window. You knew that already. You knew when you was outside grilling and you put your, you probably put the brown sugar on the, the steak. You probably put uh, uh, some seasoned salt, right, on, on a steak. You probably, uh, uh, man, you probably did a lot with that steak. But um, nevertheless, you knew when you opened up the grill again that it was going to be a bunch of smoke in your eyes. I mean, you bought a smoker, brother. That's what it, that's what's supposed to do. So guess what? In these last days... We got to stop playing games with the Lord. We got to make sure that we keep our mind towards the Lord and we're being strengthened by these precepts. 
all right? When tribulation comes our way and we laugh at it, we we further go towards the Lord. I just had a, I, my tire ran, I mean, I wanna say randomly, but my tire just was jammed up. I get on the road, I'm on my way to camp, and it's been one thing after another thing after another thing, but all praise to the most high, right? I'm driving on the side of the road, my damn, I'm driving, I had to pull over to the side of the road, my tire just damn near decapitated. I, I don't, I mean, it was damn near just finished. But guess what? I'm working, doing, doing, I mean, I had to do what I had to do. How else was going to get to camp, right? I don't want a brother to be over-righteous and be like, brother, why'd you change your tire on the Shabbat? Brother, you got to do what you got to do to get to, you know, that's, 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 that's lawful to do well on the Sabbath. I'm on way to camp. But nevertheless, nevertheless, the point of the matter is when this tribulation comes, and you just want to continue to trust in the Most High, right? You don't want to wither. You don't want to fade. You want to keep your trust in your heart by Shimei Shai. So with that, Most High willing, brothers edified, brothers and sisters, Lord willing, you stay in the spirit. And um, you stay 10 toes down these last days. Kwame Asherala, Shalom, Israel.